Good morning everyone and welcome to workout 88 of the quarantine workout plan. Um, this is I think the fourth of our weekly Wednesday um, workout. I hope you enjoy what we've got planned today and um, it sounds like everyone's doing a really good job of keeping up the workouts in between. So really good job. Um, not much to report from me. Uh, life is returning back to normal. I am treating patients in full PPE. Um, and yeah, and I start my next role um, as yeah senior lecturer at St Mary's Uni within the next um, few weeks, so that's all very exciting. Um, anyway, let's get started on today's workout. So grabbing some space, hands on the front of your thighs and sliding down towards the floor. Take a deep breath in, exhale and sink further into the floor. And again, deep breath in, breathe out and sink into the floor. Rolling all the way up, down the front of the right leg. Take a deep breath in, breathe out and sink a little bit further. Rolling all the way up and the same to the other side. Deep breath in, breathe out and sink further into the foot. And rolling all the way up. Okay, holding on to a bit of support for some balance, we're going to just spin one leg round, one ankle round, sorry. And the other way. Then the other side, so spinning round and the other way. And now we're just going to open up the gate, so up and out to the side. It's very dark grey and rainy out there at the moment. <laughs> Okay, feet just slightly wider than hip distance, spinning the hips round. And the other way. Okay, from here I want you to link your arms in front of you, just rotating round through the upper back. Arms into a T position, we're now going to reach into the inside of the knees. Lots of rotation in the warm up today. Good. Okay, keeping the arms out to the side, crossing the front of the body. Okay, hands on your shoulders, rolling the shoulders back. And rolling them forwards. Last little bit, just with the neck, we're going to do some nice figures of eight. So round 
and down. And rest there for me. So what we're going to move on to now is our cardio warm up. We've got some marching to do. We're going to do some arm circles because we didn't do them in the mobility warm up. Um, some side steps and then the classic can can. So let's get started marching on the spot. Off we go. Obviously doing this in sitting if you would prefer. Good, 10 seconds to go, and then we're just gonna add in some arm circles. So circling the arms forward, and then we'll switch halfway. So three, two, one, and circling the arms forward. And backwards. Good, and rest there. What we're gonna do now is our side step, flapping the arms, off we go. Lots of arms to this mobility. My arms are actually starting to ache, <laughs> ache already. Good, halfway there. Five seconds left and then we're going to do our trusty can-can exercise so hands on your hips picking the knee up and kick forward and alternate off we go good ten seconds left Good, three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, take a nice deep breath in. Hopefully we're nice and warmed up. I'm surprisingly unfit, actually. Um, I've actually noticed a huge difference from not doing the quarantine every day, which is, uh, yeah, concerning for my own fitness levels. Um, but anyway, we're gonna now move on to the strength uh, circuit. So our first one, we've got two leg exercises. The first exercise is we're going to do a side step and a squat. So if you're doing it freestanding, you're going to take a step to the side, squat down, step to the side, squat down. If you need a bit of support, you can hold on to the back of the chair, side step, squat, side step and squat. Or if that is too, it's, it's still too difficult, then feel free just to do squatting movement whilst holding onto the back of the chair that's exercise number one exercise number two is our heel flicks so alternately bringing heel to bum freestanding what that looks like nice and simple bringing the heel to the bum that is our first circuit so we don't need any tins for this one all uh, lower body exercises so let's get started side step and squat in three two one off we go Remembering to try and imagine you're sitting down on a chair so bum goes backwards. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Gives the, give the legs a little bit of a shake out. We're now gonna move straight into our heel flicks. Three, two, one, off we go. So hold on if you need to. Much better to do it properly with a little bit of support. Good, we are halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Three, 
two, one, and relax there. Okay, we're gonna go for our second circuit. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing again. I'm gonna do them all with the chair just to show the supported version, but feel free to do what works best for you. So side step and squat. We're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. better <laughs> good 10 seconds to go gosh that light made a huge difference actually three two one and rest there okay keeping a hold of your chair or hands on your hips we're gonna move into our heel flicks in three two one off we go Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Perfect, well, we have absolutely smashed our first circuit. We're gonna move straight into our second one, which you'll be pleased to know has the tins this time. I haven't completely uh, ignored them. So our, we've got a nice upper body exercise and then a lower body exercise. So our first exercise using the two tins is what we call a reverse fly. So the movement that we're gonna do with our arms is this movement, but you're gonna do it bent over in half. So bending at the hip, keeping the back nice and straight, squeeze the arms back and forward again. It's exactly the same in a chair. From here, you're gonna bend over, bring the arms back behind you. Okay, so there are two exercise, are two versions of the first exercise. The second one we're gonna do is a heel raise or a calf raise. If you want to do the um, complex version or the, yeah, the more difficult version, keep hold of your tins you're gonna come up onto your tiptoes as you squeeze your tins to your shoulders and back down again. Squeezing up and back down. If you need a bit of support, holding onto the back of your chair, coming up onto your tiptoes and back down again. So there are two exercises. I'm gonna do the standing versions, uh, sorry, the complex versions of both of them to begin with and then the simpler ones. So let's get ready with our bent over fly. Three, two, one, off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one and rest there. Perfect, okay, I'm gonna do the the advanced version for the heel raise as well, remembering that you can hold onto the chair. So we're gonna go straight into our next exercise in three, two, one, off we go. Bring the shoulders up to the ears if you can. Imagine everything is pulling up. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, keeping hold of your tins. We are officially halfway through the workout. We've done first circuit and second, and first, sorry, first round of the second circuit. Tripping myself up. Um, we're now going to go through the second circuit again and then we move on to the final one. So let's get ready to go bending at the hips, keeping the back nice and straight and pulling the arms behind you. Off we go. Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Three, 
three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, either keeping hold of the tins if you're doing the advanced version or following me with the simpler one, we're gonna move into our calf raises. Remembering to really squeeze up onto the tip of your toes as best you can. We're gonna go in three, two, one, off we go. So really squeeze up and see if you can control it on the way down as well. So rather than collapsing down to the floor, slowly lowering. 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one and rest there perfect so we have smashed the second circuit we are flying through today's workout we now have one more circuit to do as we come up to 16 minutes of exercise um so this one as we know always has a bit of cardio in it oh, i've got my head out so what we're going to do is an overhead exercise um mixed in with an arm cardio um, we're going to do 40 seconds because we're at that level where we're going to push you just that little bit more. Um, feel free to work as hard as you're able to, but remember it's the cardio, it's the last bit before the cool down, so yeah, don't be scared to push yourself. Um, they both need your, they both exercises need your tins. I'm going to show you them in sitting. Um, please be, <laughs> be warned that our arms might be a little bit sore after this one. So the first exercise, tins at the shoulder. You're going to press up and over so it's a diagonal press obviously if you're doing that in standing it's exactly the same and what we're going to do, so we'll do that for 30 seconds and then we're going to switch to our marching and punching forwards and we're going to do that for 40 seconds and then we're going to go around and do the same thing again and then we move into our cool down so let's get ready with our first one just 30 seconds of overhead diagonal pressing three two one off we go Good, 10 seconds down. Halfway there. 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Shake the arms off, we're about to get them working again, I do apologize. Um, we're going to go into our marching and punching forward. Obviously, if you're doing it in standing, feel free to march or kind of jog on the spot as you're punching forward with the tins. We're going to go in three, two, one, off we go. So we've got 40 seconds of our cardio exercise. Ten seconds down. Good, halfway there. Keep it up, we have 10 seconds left. Final 10, so if you wanna speed up a little bit, feel free. Three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, take a deep breath in through the nose. And breathing back out again. We are working nice and hard, we're, so we're, we're going through this very quickly, so there's minimal rest periods. We are now going to go through to our second set, so I'm going to stay seated for the overhead press just so you can see me better, but feel free to do it standing. We're going to go in three, two, one, off we go. Ten seconds down. Halfway there. Good, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, and rest there. Okay, we have our final bit of cardio to do as we uh, creep up on 20 minutes of exercise, um, which I think is a great way to start our Wednesday morning, or whatever time you're doing this in. 
I'm gonna do it in standing just for the last one. So marching, punching, feel free to do it seated. And we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. So you can either march or you can kind of jog on the spot, whatever's gonna get that heart rate up best for you. 10 seconds down. Good, 20 seconds down. Keep it up, just 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest there. If you want, now's the time to take a heart rate check just to see how hard you're working. Feel free, there's a tutorial on the channel. But if not, let's take a nice deep breath in and breathe back out again. Give the arms a little bit of a shake. We've just worked them quite hard. And we have made it to the end of our workout. So we've now got our much deserved cool down. So arms by your side. Take a nice deep breath in as you bring your arms above your head. And exhale them back down. And again, breathing them up. And exhaling them back down. Last one here, I want you just to hold at the top. And as you exhale, lean backwards. Back to center and down to your left. Back to center and down to your right. Back to center and breathe the arms down. Okay, both hands on one hip. You want to pull yourself around looking over the shoulder. Use that hip as a bit of a lever. The same on the other side. So hand on the hip, pulling yourself round. And rest there. Okay, facing the camera, we're now going to do a little bit of neck mobility, so ear to the shoulder, give it a little pull. Feel free to rotate in, rotate in if you'd like and you'll feel the stretch a little bit further back. to center and down to the other side. So give it a little pull, rotate in. And rest there. Well done everybody. We have made it to the end of our 88th workout together. Um, what an achievement. We have been working out for nearly 24 minutes. Um, I hope everyone's enjoyed the workout. I found it surprisingly challenging. Maybe I need to up my daily workouts again. Um, thank you for everyone who continues to get in touch. All the emails, I promise you that I do read. Um, and I try and get back to the ones that I can. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in today. Continue to do the, re the rest of the workouts throughout the week. And I look forward to catching up with everyone in one week's time for workout 89. Bye bye everyone.